hey everybody and welcome back to our channel your go-to place for smart simple and powerful software tutorials in today's video we are diving into afine an open source all-in-one workspace for notes tasks and projects but with so many notion and obsidian alternatives out there you might be wondering is afine really worth switching to we will explore what AFine can do, how it stands out, and who it's actually best for. So whether you're a student, a creative, or a productivity enthusiast, we've got you covered. Let's begin. AFine is an all-in-one productivity and collaboration tool that combines the best features of Notion, Miro, and Obsidian into a single platform. It's designed for note-taking, project management, whiteboarding and team collaboration with a strong focus on offline first performance and open source flexibility now if you go to the official website of afine you would notice that if we hover to the pricing plans they offer the afine ai it's our true multimodal ai copilot that starts around at this price per month okay the pro is at these and the team plan is around ten dollars per seat per month but the good thing is you can start working with afine absolutely free forever how all they have to do is click the get started so that you will be forwarded to a new page creating an account here is a breeze all right you can sign in or sign up without actually creating an account so you can try there's also the ability to download the platform for an application on your windows which we're gonna do with that later on but for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you around how it works now for afine you can start by creating the plus here if you want to create a new project from scratch so you see it requires for you to sign in and enable so let's do with that right now as you may notice the platform is very clean it's a very straightforward and it's functional and the left side area is our navigation dashboard wherein we have the search for us to quickly find notes, pages, or documents within your AFine workspace. So you can type in keywords or maybe like um, document titles designed to help you locate specific information instantly, similar to Notion's global search. Now, the all docs is going to be your main document library. All right, so this is where all your notes, pages, and projects are stored so you can organize your work into folders or databases. For example, if you want to create a new one right here, you can do so, which is really great for keeping an overview of everything you have created inside AFine. Obviously, the journals is a dedicated space for daily notes or logs. If you want to create a new journal entry, we can do that right here. You have the ability to ensure that all entries are organized by date, helping you track your thoughts or activities chronologically. You can add an icon if you want. For example, let's say we're going to use this one right here with the cowboy hat. And then the notifications gives you all the ability to keep updated on activity in shared workspaces. For example, if you want to see when someone comments, mentions you right here, or edit a shared document you will be notified so you will be informed about collaboration updates now if you go to the intelligence section this is a newer evolving feature that integrates ai so type in your thoughts right here you see you can choose the drop down menu if you want to use a model like gemini 2.5 flash however the gemini 2.5 pro and claude sonnet are requires a subscription plan you can choose to hover the web search or extended thinking. It's up to you. But these are going to be some of your prompts that you can use to and press enter. And what will happen is it can summarize documents, suggest edits, or help with a brainstorming, which is kind of really handy. So I think of it as AFine's built-in AI assistant to enhance productivity right here. Now, after using the AFine intelligence, you might want to hover to the trash section here the trash is going to be like your cycle bin of afine so deleted documents go here temporarily before you permanently delete them 
whenever you are sure you don't need any of the uh, files anymore. Now, after that, it's going to be the import section. The import section is something that you can use to bring in external content from other apps or file tabs. You can import markdown files, HTML from Notion, and Snapshot, which is really great for users who want to migrate to AFine using another productivity app like Notion. And then you have the ability to, of course, invite members here if you want. So you can collaborate with your client, maybe your team, or friends to join your workspace. You have the ability for edit, editor right here, appearance. Okay. And then you can assign roles, permissions, and co-edit documents in real time here in AFine. After that, the template is something of... A collection of pre-built layouts and structures to help you start faster if you want to create a new template from scratch you can do so if you want to add an icon for example maybe um this one right here you can type in an info for example if you want to use a project planner meeting notes personal journal task tracker it saves you time by giving a ready-made formats so you can customize and remember on the info you can use the AI intelligence right here to give your thoughts on a specific item that you want to be part of your template. All right, so they work seamlessly hand in hand, so that it's a lot easier for you to manage. On the uh, bottom left corner, you have the option to download the app. I am going to do that and show you what the app looks like. So here's the app. Okay, so it looks similar to the uh, cloud based thing is this works offline so if you don't want to work online you can use the app here so that you can still work with even if you have a limited internet connection now as you may notice that the platform itself is very intuitive right you can tell it's easy to navigate with no virtually learning curve now if you'd like to explore further you can also check now this is a perfect example of a trusted software review so that you can check detailed feedback pricing information and maybe potential alternatives to afine this is captera my favorite go-to place and of course there is the site called g2.com these sites provide valuable insights from real users helping you make a well-informed decision that fits your specific needs and budget and with that being said AFine is a promising platform that combines the best of note taking, whiteboarding, and project management, and it's improving fast. However, if you're looking for an enterprise level integrations, advanced automation, or something that's already as polished as Notion or Obsidian, you might want to wait a bit longer while AFine continues to grow. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and we will see you again in the next video.